Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. So if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll know that we've been tracking the Bitcoin price and we had a, a historic short squeeze recently that shot the price up from where it was, you know, around 34,000 to almost $40,000. And then it kind of hovered and went up to as high as 40,500, at least on many, ex most exchanges. On this channel, we thought that the price was going to go to at least 43,000, 45,000 with the momentum that it had, but we had a capitulation at 40,500 and we're still kind of in that downtrend. Uh, and if also, if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll know that we do make predictions. We do make sort of uh, price assessments and, you know, we try to track it and see where it's going, but that is not a sure way to trade. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're trading, you have to exercise risk management or else you're not going to be trading for long, right? And the way to make wealth in the space is to buy and hold, is to really have a long-term view. And even when we're trading, uh, we try to go into shorter time or longer time frames rather. Right now I'm in the 15 minute time frame just because I'm tracking a move. But in order to make a move, if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll know that we'll be looking at the daily, the weekly even, or sometimes uh, the eight or four hourly uh, to make a move. Usually if we'll go into the lower time frames, it's just to see a pattern more clearly, right? To see the minutia or the details of what uh, price action is doing. So that's what we're doing right now. So Bitcoin's been going down since about yesterday afternoon. And how low will it go? That's the question most people are asking. And when will it get there? So in my estimation, as I said before, I thought that the price was going to go up here before uh, executing an ABC correction. Uh, but looks like this was the top, uh, the local top. I don't think we're done at all. I don't think we're entering a bear market. That's just my estimation. But I could be wrong. Uh, but I think that what we're doing right now is an ABC correction and we're in the B phase, meaning we just hit the top of the B phase and the top of the B phase just hit its head on the 618, which is the golden ratio, right? It's If you can break the 618, typically they say that that impulse is bullish. And if it's below the 618, that impulse, impulse is bearish. Um, and obviously that's simplifying things, but the 618, the golden mean, the golden ratio is super important. So right now that's sitting at around 37,825. So Bitcoin can't seem to get above that and it looks based off of our stochastic rsi that it's really hit a top on the 15 minute it's hit a top on the 30 minute chart on the hourly chart it's getting there uh and it's on its way down on the eight hourly as well as on the daily chart it's just hit a top so uh it seems that bitcoin has reached its local top um, in this, uh, in this, in this impulse for the B wave, and we're heading back down again. And so it, it, you know, how ABC corrections work, work in Elliott wave analysis is you get three waves for A, three waves for B, which takes you in the opposite direction, and then five waves for C. So C is going to be longer than that A wave. That's why I drew it all the way down here. And here we will see, let's look on the yeah, daily, let's look on the eight hourly, just so we can see what I put in. Okay, and let's clean this up a bit. All right, so I believe, and again, I don't have a crystal ball. This is just technical analysis. You should not be making, you know, life-changing decisions uh, um, and risking your capital based on somebody else's technical analysis um, or your own even. Obviously, you use that because that's what you have. There, you know, you can't, you don't want to go in blind, but this is just a, a tool of approximation, you know, to try and read, you know, macro patterns and 
see, you know, trends, but, you know, use due diligence, do your own research, um, you know, see what other ideas other people are floating out, use common sense, try to learn some of this yourself to really, you know, rely on yourself to make the big decisions because it's your capital, it's your hard-earned money, and we're all trying to earn wealth in this space. All right. So I believe that we're going to execute a five-wave impulse down. So that's what usually you see in the ABC correction. And this is a zigzag correction. It's classical sort of the Wyckoff, Wyckoff uh, sorry, not Wyckoff, Elliott wave correction, an ABC correction. And why do I think it's going down to this white line? It's because before the short squeeze around here, See, we had a short squeeze. I was caught underwares. I had no idea that was coming. Uh, I believed that the price would do something like this, matriculate down. We always thought that we were coming back to the 30,000 mark. Why? Because that was the site of the breakout. And once it broke out of this diagonal, um, what price action typically does is it breaks out, matriculates up, goes up, low volume. See, the volume's low. And then it comes back down, still on low volume. Once it hits and retests the site of the breakout, then you see volume confirming the actual breakout. So that's what I thought was happening. That's the yellow line. And I'm leaving it on. And I love leaving it on because, yes, I was wrong. And it's okay to be wrong. You have to be comfortable being wrong trading in this space. You're never going to be right 100% of the time. But that's part of the game. You just use your best the best you have at that, or the, the best amount of information you have to make the best decisions possible at that point in time, more candles print, you sort of make a, a, a reassessment, right? And you'll see all over YouTube, I don't think anybody's gotten anything right 100%, and it's okay. It's just, I would be cautious watching somebody who thinks they have to be right 100% of the time, or believes or feigns to be correct 100% of the time, and that doesn't exist. Uh, so yeah, again, be careful. This market will humble you, and that's one of the reasons I love it. Uh, I love being wrong in that sense because it just makes me better every day, learn more every day. That's just me. All right, so again, I feel like we're coming down because we're retesting that breakout point, and then from here, I think we're going to turn around and start um, the next phase of the bull run. So that's my analysis on Bitcoin. You can also see that in other projects, for instance, let's look at something different today. Let's look at Polkadot. We don't look at Polkadot any. Um, so here we have Polkadot. And it had the same thing and we can draw it in all right capitulation at the top at 1527 all the way down to 1362 uh flirting with the point of control so it you see this red line that's called the point of control that's basically where you have the most buyers and sell sellers you see the vpvr which is basically the you know horizontal volume it shows you how many you know all the action is taking place at this point in time so this is pretty much a, a very in, important sort of decision making zone uh and so that would make sense that you know the b wave was taking place here and i believe that that's going to be the end of that and it's going to come down to the site of the breakout which where did it break out it looks like it broke out around here. And, you know, I'm, yeah, somewhere around here. Okay. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm not looking exactly at the point of the breakout, but it's going to be something like this, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and what's happening right, right now looks like we just crossed the 50. 144 EMA, but I think we're going to get rejected there and it, and come back down. So that's pretty much it. That's what I believe we're going to get for today and maybe a bit into tomorrow as well. I believe that we're still matriculating downwards and 
that we're going to have a C wave uh, correction all the way down to that initial point of breakout. And if you were looking to make entries, you're going to have that opportunity. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.